I'm Selena Hill, the digital editor at Black Enterprise, and we are here at the Freestyle 50 launch party. I'll speak to Kevin Lyles, the co-founder of 300 Entertainment, about this event and the business of entertainment. Let's check it out. So Mr. Kevin Lyles, tell us about this event, Freestyle 50. Man, I, I wanted to celebrate uh, our hustle every day, and um, you know, we all freestyle in our way. You know, I meet you know camera guys, I meet hosts, I meet um, actual people who never went to school for what they do today because they freestyle their way. They saw an opportunity and they went and got it. So I want to celebrate it. So I partnered with Verizon last year to do Freestyle 50 Challenge One. This year is Freestyle 50 Challenge Two, and I got my man London on the track who's going to produce the beat. I got my man T Grizzly performing tonight. I said, T, let me hold that no effort beat. Let me let it rap over the no effort beat and upload it to their Twitter or Instagram and uh, hashtag Freestyle 50 Challenge, hashtag uh, 300, you know, at Verizon, and the party's on, you know? So tonight's the launch event. I'm here having a great time and I want to expose the next artist. Absolutely, so we you talked about longevity in the game, especially hip hop music. I mean, Kevin Lyles, you are the man. Can you talk about what it takes to really have longevity in hip hop, especially with the evolution that's been going on for the past couple years? Well, it's not, the, the reality of evolution is you have to continue to evolve. And one thing I never made it about was me. It was always about everybody else. It was always about who's the next person. It was always about my succession plan was not about who would be the next Kevin Lyles, but who could be the best them. So I always wanted to create a business environment that was more so of a platform. So I never, you know, you can go back to Beastie, LL, Run DMC, all the way up, you know, now to T Grizzly, Young Thug, Migos. You know, I just want to provide great platforms for people. So I believe with longevity, you have to evolve as an individual. Absolutely, and speaking of platforms, mm -hmm. we know that streaming is one of the most popular platforms when it comes to hip hop, audio, and any type of music content. How has streaming really changed the game when it comes to the business of entertainment and even how you scout for new talent? Well, I mean, to make a long story short, the barrier of entry has been lowered so much. Uh, it's been lowered to the point where anybody can rap at any time, any day, anybody could sing, anybody could design any time, any day. And what streaming has done is provided 24 hours a day, seven days a week, access to content. So if you think about back in the day when you used to have to go to stores and wait to the open and close, now with your PDA device, it's 24 hours a day, seven days a week, you can consume what you want, when you want, how you want. So I think the business has changed and streaming is the new music business. What advice would you give for aspiring hip hop artists or even music professionals who want to make it to this level? Uh, I, again, uh, number one, you got to see what the landscape is around you. Uh, number two, you have to be willing to go after this like your life depended on it. You know, you got to realize since the barriers of entry is so low now, everybody's trying to do it. So what's going to differentiate yourself? It has to be your hustle. It has to be the way you freestyle your way. And whether you go inside a company and become an entrepreneur, or whether you start your own business as an entrepreneur, or whether you said, I'm going to go and be an employee for a couple of years to learn the business, there's no one way. That's the thing I'm celebrating. You got to freestyle your way to success. And I just appreciate the fact that the industry has opened its arms to so many great young people with different opinions and from so many different backgrounds. Uh, and I'm just looking to continue to applaud them and celebrate them. Absolutely. So there you have it, Kevin Lyles telling us how to freestyle our way to success. Thank you. All right, thank you. I'm here with music producer extraordinaire London on the track. We are here at Freestyle 50 with Kevin Lyles. So London, why was it so important for you to be a part of Freestyle 50? It's important because I feel like I can brand any artist with my music and uh, I can make any sound. It doesn't matter how they rap. You know what I'm saying? Whatever genre of music it is, I feel like I can be able to, I'm the person that can be able to capitalize on it and make, you know, involve a rapper, you know what I'm saying? Make them better. Absolutely. So when it comes to scouting for new talent, how important would you say social media, your social media game is if you're an artist and you want to get into this game? It's very important because social media is like the biggest, it's like, it's what you can find artists on now. You can't, it's better to find it on social media because it's like very entertaining and it's just easier. It's very easy, you can't find it on the street. People not in the streets like that anymore. People are all on their phone. It's just so easy to find Twitter, Instagram. Everybody's on social media, so that's the best way to find artists these days. But it's almost like oversaturated because everyone is on social media. Mm -hmm. How does an artist stand out to you? On social media? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, just being they self, not trying to be, you know, be, being dope. 
and uh, being unique, um, and you know, just not trying to be like nobody else. Definitely. Is that how you distinguish your sound? Yeah, yeah pretty much, yes. Absolutely. Thank I'll you. Be myself. Okay. Thank you so much. Hey, I'm Selena Hill with Black Enterprise, and we just had a great time at Freestyle 50. We spoke to Kevin Lyles, we spoke to London on the track, and we had a great time.